Elephant and rhino poaching continues to be a burden on the government's fiscus. This was raised during the launch of new anti-poaching technology at the Kruger National Park in Limpopo. 45 billion rand. This is what one anti-poaching helicopter costs South African National Parks and a further 10,000 rand an hour to fly it. For years, some parks has been grappling with rain on elephant poaching. More than 50 elephants and nearly 300 rhinos were poached in the Kruger National Park last year. It does uh, have a huge impact in terms of uh, um, what it does uh, to the economy first and foremost, but as well in terms of uh, continuing to make sure that uh, there is a sustainable uh, a livelihood amongst our people because this does not uh, necessarily happen only inside the park but also adjacent the parks. And that is actually denying most of our people um, the benefits that they could actually derive from the parks. Even though it's costly, government is determined to stop the scourge. Well, to run these anti-poaching operations, it's prohibitively expensive. Uh, your initial acquisition costs of the aircraft that we operate, uh, the insurance on the aircraft, your crew, your maintenance, uh, component replacement schedules, it all adds up. Um, it runs into millions per annum. Uh, just to keep a single aircraft airborne and as we've seen we've got four helicopters three fixed wings and a complement of ultralight aircraft it, it really is a huge amount of money that gets spent on these anti-poaching efforts it is hoped that this will make a major difference in the fight against poaching at one of the biggest game reserves in the world which are the news kruger national park